Good day, my descending viewers. Mahatma Gandhi once said, and I quote, I object to violence because even when it appears to do good, the good it does is only temporary. The evil it does is permanent. The topic here for our discussion today is, quote and unquote, silencing the guns. The peace if Ghana were in my hands before, during and after the December 2020 elections. Come December 7th, eligible voters will be headed for the ballot. The possibility of disgruntled candidates rejecting the results and the repercussions of their actions is what has motivated me to come before you today to add my voice to the many voices calling for peace. My name is Joy Tendana, a student of Chairman Senior High School. Cherished viewers, one may have the cause to reject election results when the entire process is not free and fair. Secondly, transparency or the lack of it may also cause people to either accept or reject election results. The indiscriminate dissemination of fake news by various media, especially social media, may cause people to reject election results. Also, the Electoral Commission having a soft spot for a particular political party can cause others to doubt these results. Another reason people may accept or reject election results is inadequate electoral administrative rules. More so, poor management of election results may also cause people to either accept or reject election results. Problematic vote counting and tallying can also cause people to reject these results. So, after all this, how then do we silence the guns? If the peace of Ghana were in my hands. First, the entire electoral process, right from the registration of voters down to the declaration of the results, will involve all stakeholders. Once you've been part of the process from the beginning down to the end, when the results are released, would you have the would you have a reason to doubt the credibility of these results? Moreover, I would have the Peace Council be proactive instead of being reactive. Then, there must be avenues for redress. Since unresolved complaints can trigger electoral violence, efficient and credible complaints processes would be set out if the Peace of Ghana were in my hands. Perpetrators of fake news must be tracked and prosecuted without delay and the air cleared for, to forestall peace. If the peace of Ghana were in my hands, training programs would be organized for stakeholders, including security forces, the media, and political candidates. All being said, Cherry's viewers, let us agree with Abraham Lincoln, and I quote, the ballot is stronger than the bullet. Thank you.